Alright, so uh, as you can see, I have here two examples of the animation. One is with just sticks, and the other one is just a rough animation of the hand being animated. Okay, so it's moving. Um, the way we can work on animating this particular arm is either we could start with uh, with this uh, rough thumbnailing of the hand or we could start with doing the sticks okay so if you might ask why would you need to do sticks okay in order to understand the movement okay um, if we start working on on this right there's a lot of detail going on here so you would see the the fingers hands so there's um too much detail right so with this much detail it's sort of um confusing on the part of beginner animators so it would be much better if you know we just break down this hand into the simplest form which is this particular um stick okay so if you would observe i did some sort of exaggeration on this part of the hand in order to do a drag okay to drag and overlap okay so this is just a reference for timing you can follow it if you want to but best would be to follow my example okay so this particular line that I did is just following the contour of this particular part of the hand. So, just uh, change the color of my pencil. So, this particular line, let me just leave it thicker. Okay. This line is just following the contour, okay? So it's following the contour of the outer hand. So what I'm animating is this part of the hand. So if I draw over this, uh, over this, it would look something like this, okay? So the reason why I did this is to just try and get the movement of the arm. All right, that's why I'm doing only this, 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 and this. Okay, so that you'll have an understanding of the movement instead of drawing the hand, and uh, you might get frustrated with uh, not fixing the hand right and so and so. So if you just want to study movement, you could start with the contour contour okay with the outer contour or with the edge okay so this particular edge of the hand all right so let us um start with doing the first frame of our uh hand okay uh, if you would notice the timing pala sorry before i proceed um the timing here goes like this okay so the timing goes like this so this is six you have one then five then four then three then two so one two three four five and six so this is the spacing okay so this particular spacing refers this refers to this so if you put an arc right if you put an arc on this particular uh, movement so this one and six frame is like this so the spacing will be referring to this it's just that this is just a flat version of this particular timing arc okay so 
for this particular first part, okay, it goes to 6, then the timing on this next part, okay, so it goes out, so out, then it bounces back, right? So if you would notice, the timing started with 6, then umurong siya, okay? So 10, 7, 8, 9. So what happened is, yung 6, nag-push siya dun, then from here, bumalik siya papunta dito sa 10. So nag-push, then bumalik sa 10. So the hand is stretching and settling back at frame 10. Alright? So, yun yung, ano, yun yung ibig sabihin nitong timing na to. Okay? So, let's do the simple version muna. Okay? By just doing the, the line. Okay? So, if we are going to try and mimic the pose, okay, the pose of the hand is something like this. Right? So, this is the first frame. Okay? So, I'll do the first one. So, let's say for example, Okay? So, this is the first pose of my arm. Right? So, ito yun. Okay? So, ito yung fold ng no, no hand. Okay? Then, we go to uh, frame 2. Okay? Let me turn on my onion skin. Okay? Wait. Wh why am I using red? Let me just use another color. Uh, let me just use green. Or blue. No. Um, no, let's just use black. Okay, yeah. Okay. So let's go to frame two. Okay. So on frame two, the on the onion skin, uh, there's not much movement on the sleeve, right? But there is this slight movement of the arm. So we're going to like move the arm then move the hand a little okay and add the finger right now um yung ganito system kasi masyado siyang stiff okay stiff tong animation na to ang gusto natin mangyari is ito yung hand so ito okay what we want to do is gusto natin mag overlap yung hand okay para may drag okay so we want to to add the drag okay so itong line that we added here i want it to to drag here okay yan yung finger natin okay i want it to drag okay so one two okay then uh, three, so let's add again the um, upper part. Okay, so let's move the arm a little a bit more. Then move natin yung wrist. Then let's push the finger back. Okay, so we're like breaking. Okay, so we're breaking joints. Okay, this is illogical pero pag nakita nyo siya, mas maganda siya tingnan. Pag nag-animate talaga siya. Okay, so we're breaking the joints. We're breaking it just for the sake of animation. Then on frame 4, okay, so frame 4, ito na yung spacing niya. So I'll be adding frame 4, uh, wait, somewhere around here, okay, then I'll add the wrist. Then I'll add the the drag. Okay, something like that. Okay. Then um, on the fifth frame, something like this. Okay. So follow, paren. Uh, if you would notice, this needs to like be an arc. Okay. This has to be an arc. Pag hindi to arc. Ibig sabihin, hindi pantay yung arm niyo. Okay? So, this has to arc. 
Mag-art dapat yan. Okay? So, this is 5. Then, we go to 6. 6 is a fully stretched, um, almost fully stretched na yung arm. Okay? So, it's pointing like that. Okay? So, there's a big uh, gap between this and this. Right? Between 6 and 5. There's a big gap. Kasi we want it to this space is because we want it to snap. Okay? Gusto natin siya mag-snap kaya malaki yung uh, distance. Alright? So, drag. So, 6. Okay? So, 6. Then, 7. 7, if you would notice, hindi doon nakadrawing yung buong kamay. Finger lang. Actually, ano yan, it's a way of, you know, showing where you would put the fingers. Pero buo dapat yung hand na yan. Okay? So, buo dapat yan. Ang problem kasi, pag dinrawing nyo lahat, matatakpan. So, medyo gugulo na masyado. Right? So, see? Magpapatong-patong na siya masyado. So, this is one way of, you know, showing the, the spacing. So, these are the fingers, so you don't need to draw the whole hand. Okay? So, sa 7, going back, so frame 7, um, tataas natin siya ng uh, konti. Right? Pero may malaking space na konti. So, medyo mas malaki. Right? So, mas malaki ng konti. Then, same with the finger. Okay? Then, go to the next one. I move the f the arm. Okay. Kailangan mag-settle tong animation natin ng arm. So, the spacing gets smaller and smaller. Right? So, similar to this. Okay. Lumiliit siya na lumiliit. Okay. Then, uh, we can extend the frame by pressing F5. So, go to uh, frame... What is this frame? 17 or something? Kasi gagawin nyo ng frame 20. So, F5, F5. Uh, Nag-add tayo ng frame because we want it to hold. Kailangan natin mag-hold siya ng hanggang frame 20. So, if we play this, right? So, it snaps. Okay, parang arm na lang. Arm na siya. So, the next thing that we can do here is we can add we can add another layer, a drawing layer. Then what we can do here is we can now start drawing our arm. Okay. Now I can reduce the opacity of this uh, layer by clicking this um, icon beside the pencil. So click opacity. So set the opacity lower. Okay. We just need it as a reference anyway. Alright. So, reference naman natin siya. So, click it again. So, drawing 3. So, now we can draw the the arm. Okay? So, we can start with yeah. So, simply drawing with the arm. Then, we have here the sleeve. Okay? Um, the process of animation is really tedious. So, walang magic sa animation. It's a very long process. So, please try to remember that. Okay? So, masasawa kayo sa kakaandu. Maswerte na nga lang tayo kasi meron tayong uh, meron tayong undo. Okay? So, let's add naman the uh, no, the fingers Okay. You don't really necessarily have to like copy the the hand. So pwede naman siyang cartoons. Okay, so yung cartoon hand. Okay. So yan. Kung pangit na yung kung pangit yung drawing, let go. Ang importante mukha siyang kamay. Okay. So, 
yan okay. alright parang ang payat wait let me erase ang takal ng laki ng ano ko oops just erase this part we get this and move ng konti hold thing so I can you know, delete then yan I'm going to yan tapos this one hold thing oh hold thing yan oops let's just erase this so alt b uh, alt e for erasing and right so go to frame uh frame two so we do the same thing okay so you can draw the the arm okay wait yeah Make sure to move your canvas to your most comfortable angle. Okay, so okay, then let's do the fingers. Then and add okay. so let's add the hand here at the post. So okay. Then I need to adjust this. Um alt alt e So we draw the parts, then we go to frame three. Okay. So we do the same thing. So the upper the forearm. Then Let's add the sleeve. Okay. Then let's try and add the arm here. Oh, not the hand. But the hand would be like, you know, it's nicer if we could like exaggerate it even more okay let me just turn off the onion skin
So yeah, we just follow the same process. And then just make sure that you're consistent with the arm. Okay. Now if you would notice, dumadami na siya ng dumadami. Um, well, ganun talaga. The hardest thing is to really keep the lines very consistent. So uh, let's add the sleeve. Okay. Then let's add the Let's add the uh, finger. So, ganun ulit, we can like make it curvy. Okay. So, and just keep everything really consistent. All right, so let's try. All right, I think my I'm actually very tempted to just copy and paste this, okay. but I don't, and I won't. Okay, so all right. So next is for us to add this. Wait, try to find your most com comfortable um, stroke. A stroke or angle so I'm actually breaking the f the hand so much 
Okay, but you know, this is animation. I can do whatever I want as long as it looks good. Okay, make sure that everything is consistent. So if yours are a bit uh, rough, it's fine. Uh, mine is a bit, you know, I got a little car I got carried away, uh, carried away. So you don't have to keep your your work really very clean. Okay, just make it animate. So that's fine. That's enough. So let me just add. Okay, so erase, erase, okay. So I think I need to move this and extend it. Alright, so next is to draw the draw the hand. Okay, so So if you don't like to say certain parts on your work, um, remember that you can scale. Okay, you can scale your your drawing, so you don't have to uh, worry much or try to keep on erasing your work. Pwede naman adjust. Okay, so since we're just doing exercises, it's fine. Right, so. Let me just turn off the onion skin. Play. I have a problem on the first part of the hand. This is consistent. Okay. Then my hand here got a little bit big. So let's check. So yeah, you can adjust. So 
just I'm just going to uh, fix this. Just redo. Anyway, so then the next one would be this settle, okay? So you partner next settle, so you'll be drawing the same thing. Okay. Um, you just add the sleeve. Alright, then uh, let's draw the Alright, so one way of, you know, somehow making it a lot easier to work, since wala naman pagkakaiba yung hand na to dito. Um, traditionally, what usually happens is, we usually um, trace, okay? We usually trace previous frames, alright, so that it's going to be consistent okay so in race ko yung part na to okay so i'm going to now bring this here okay so that's the advantage of uh, using digital okay so since yung frame na to is the same lang naman on i could just like um Highlight this, copy it, then go to frame it, paste it, then adjust the hand, get this particular part of the hand, and adjust the point. Okay, kailangan na a point siya. 
Okay. So now if um, there's some sort of issue with and so you can do this. Then you can add the rest of the arm. So you can like So it's not you know not cheating really so it's just working smart okay ang problem lang pag pa sobrang copy paste ano siya masyado siyang stiff tingnan all right so be ano be mindful when you are going to copy and just paste okay so hindi lahat not every not all the time that you could actually just copy and paste okay sometimes pag wala naman masyadong diferensya you could do that okay you can copy and paste a part of your um frame it's fine basta hindi masisira yung quality okay kasi yung iba mukha talagang kinopy paste masyado okay so yan then go to frame 20 f5 okay zoom out zoom out here turn off then let's play okay so that's how you do a hand point hand pointing using the uh the edge or the contour line before animating everything else instead of you know doing the animation on the on this side okay on this um, particular technique na rough na rough lahat pwede naman kasi nga lang you get too occupied with the uh, you know you get too occupied with the form and not the animation itself all right so export this so you go to file export animate the GIF then label it with your last name and first name okay tech underscore ROS then all frames all okay then loop then click OK alright alright so it's done okay so I'm going to end the recording so uh, just ask any question and post questions in our group if you, ha if you have uh, questions all right so okay so thank you I'll see you on the next video